Today is Thursday, November 12th, 2020, and today I want to talk about a hoax animal. Allow me to present Mr. Hans Wormhat. Hans here has a unique perspective on, well, reality, really. So brace yourselves for a deep dive into Dum Dum. One with a childish name, and they want to have these tales of semen out on the ocean fighting a sperm whale. Look, I freely admit I have a dirty mind, and even I would have left that one alone. Also, does someone who calls himself Worm Hat really have room to talk about childish-sounding names? And it's just not a real animal. This was something I could just look at this and I I could tell instantly that this is not real. What? That this is not real. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you're gonna make me look up whales, aren't you? Fine. Here we go. The sperm whale. Largest of the toothed whales and largest toothed predator in the world. And if the one picture you were looking at doesn't quite seem right to you, instead of just saying, oh, that's a fake animal, maybe you should try looking up some of the literally hundreds of others that come up on a Google search. I gotta wonder, how many people actually buy this stuff he's spouting? Over 4,000? People will believe anything. Obviously. And there are so many fish tales and fake animals out there. There's a lot of fake animals in the ocean. Quick side note, Hans here thinks pretty much any animal he's never seen with his own two eyes is fake. And even some that he has. But since we're specifically talking about whales in this one, you can refer to his channel, or Sir Six, for more details on that. It's just made up. Some human made this up. Whales are a strange one. I'll tell a story about a whale at the end. Whales are a strange one. I think that they're just ripping off Jonah from the Bible. <laughs> I think you're a little confused. The story of Jonah is actually referring to a whale. In fact, I believe some translations use the word whale. The reason others use the words big fish is because, according to the biblical authors, animals were classified by what they do rather than what they are. So whales and dolphins were fish because they swim and live in the water, Bats were birds because they fly, and were sometimes locusts because they swarm. And there's an entire taxonomic category of creeping things. Like worms. With hats. Named Hans. I was wondering why it had all those scratches. Well, because somebody made it like that. It's actually because they eat colossal squid. And maybe now you've gotten that one of their MOs is they like to weave this web that ties multiple hoaxes together and it helps reinforce their fake matrix to have all of their hoaxes interconnected with one another it's like a house of cards well so there's this fake whale sperm whale and they tie in with the sperm whale the fake colossal squids so that's that's the story for why they're all scraped up or maybe, oh, I don't know, perhaps real animals who live in the same area interact sometimes? Just saying, it's a possibility. Sperm whales have no upper teeth. Huh. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Does that make any sense to have these recesses, flesh recesses in the mouth? Never heard of any creature being like that. Why is its jaw so skinny? And a lot of people just take the piss with the jokes. These people probably know it's a big joke, so that's why they're just poking fun at stuff all the time. Body image issues from looking at too many whale fashion magazines. You're getting mixed up again, Hans. The whole thing about people making jokes about something because they think what they're referring to is actually a big joke is mainly just your content. Though I have to admit that that crack about the whale fashion magazines made me giggle. Jokes aside, though, I can't decide for sure whether it's just stupidity or actual dishonesty that you raise all these questions when the links that explain the answers to those questions are right there in the screenshot you're showing. Their entire skull is very long and narrow, like a crocodile, but their foreheads are super fat. This is what their skeletons look like. I'll show you in a picture in a second. It's images like these that make me think that we could be way off with how we depict dinosaurs looking. Or dinosaurs are just fake. They're grabbing skeletons from different creatures. They're making sculptures. 
They straight up tell you that those are not the bones. Oh, hell no. We are not going through the whole fake dinosaur thing again. My brain's still recovering from last time. They tell you that it's castings and cast, cast a spell, castings. I wonder if Hans thinks fishing is evil since you have to cast a line or a net. And clearly the idea that the same word can have multiple meanings is as far beyond him as, well, pretty much everything. You're just going to get a bunch of diagrams when it comes to sperm whales. There might be a few CGI videos out there, BBC type, Nat Geo productions. It's probably just high quality CGI. You heard that right, folks. All video footage of whales and other animals that Hans says are fake are all really good CGI. Even the footage that became publicly available decades before CGI was any good or even existed. I don't believe in sperm whales. I don't think that they're real. So they don't chew, do they? Yeah, how, how could you chew with that crazy mouth? I'll just go back really quick, show you how dumb this picture is. I'm impressed. A sensible question. And thanks to the magic of bothering to look, we actually have a sensible answer. It says here that sperm whales have a four-chambered stomach, the first chamber of which doesn't have any gastric juices, but does have very thick muscular walls for crushing its food, since it can't chew. See what you can do when you don't keep your brain in your... well... <laughs> It doesn't even look... Can't you just see that it doesn't even look like it has a big enough throat to swallow anything? And they can't chew anything. How are they supposed to swallow something if they can't chew it and they're, they have no throat? I think a better question would be, how does your body continue to function when you don't have a brain? Obviously this animal has a throat, and based on your own picture, an adult human would fit down it. And we've already determined that it swallows its food whole, much like the vast majority of snakes do with their food, and people do with pills. By the way, I know several of my viewers were thinking something completely different when we started talking about swallowing, and I want to set the record straight. I thought of it too, I'm just not going to say it. Came here for Lord of Expert fun facts feel let down. Because usually when they post about these fantastical things, the comments will be full of people spouting a bunch of facts about these things. It's like koalas. There's a zillion zany facts about koalas. There's a zillion zany facts about pandas and sloths because they don't make sense because they're just something somebody came up with and they write these crazy lores. I blacked out that last clip because it shows a word in text that I don't want used on my channel, but I still wanted to share the audio with you guys. As I pointed out earlier, any animal that Hans thinks is unusual or has never seen before is automatically fake. Therefore, any and all facts about it must have been made up by somebody. Never mind the sheer millions of people who would have to be in on faking animals, and the fact that the more people who would have to be in on a conspiracy, the less likely it is to be true. Before we get out of here for 2020, this month's art piece is by Pallid Panda. I gotta admit, I kinda dig the ripped jeans and high tops replacing my usual capris and sneakers. Also, I'm considering making some additions to my list of fellow advocates for sanity. If you guys also have some suggestions, feel free to leave a link in the comments or send it to me via Twitter. Until next year, love you bunches, and as always, stay sane, everybody. Smoochies! If you like what I do, but want to see somebody do it way better, be sure to check out Sir Sick, the Social Inequality Crusader. Link's in the description below. And tell him Susie sent you.